did not having Brad change what you wanted to do offensively by not having a fullback, or did you just choose to not use a fullback? Well, you know, our best two fullbacks are Weissman and Rogers. Uh, that's how we ended camp, and that hasn't changed. So, yeah, we, we have a shot, I think, to get both those guys back next year. Weissman's not going back to fullback. You know, we already had that discussion, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's uh, you know, we thought Brad had a chance last week, didn't make it. You know. Uh, Pretty much knew uh, midweek he wasn't going to make it this week, but he has a chance next week. So we'll see what happens. And, yeah, if, if you lose players, it certainly affects the way you do things. Kirk, three, game, <coughs> excuse me, three regular season games to go. Can you kind of explain the scramble mode? Uh, you know, I told our guys uh, when the Big Ten season started. I, I really, and I believe this at that time. I thought we could uh, win any game or lose any game on our schedule. Uh, you yeah, know, we clearly have work to do right now. But I, I haven't changed my opinion. You know, we're not putting the flag up, you know. And uh, we got three games scheduled. We have every intention of. Uh, I thought we improved this week. I thought we were a better football team today than a week ago. So it's uh, it's our mode of operation. We'll try to improve. Well, we played hard enough. Got good leadership this week. But we got, we got to play cleaner to, to expect to win. Guys, you have defense. We're just. You know, where's the point? Injury-wise, we're we're not going to be able to kind of effect, affecting their play. It seems like a lot of guys are just... De defense or offense? Defense. Kind of really... Yeah, you know, i, I got to tell you, my first thoughts are the guys that aren't out there. You know, we left guys home, uh, two guys that had surgeries, you know, a couple other guys that haven't been able to play. So that's first and foremost. But, you know, every everybody in the country right now, if you're playing college football or pro football or high school football, you're sore. It's just the nature of uh, November and October. You know, if you play in a competitive league, which we do, so, you know, I mean, everybody's got problems, everybody's got issues, you got to play through those things. And the teams that handle those the best are the ones that uh, come out on top. James, uh, you started off pretty strong. I think you played a seven was first and eight or something like that, but just not sustained the drives throughout. It's not all his fault, but just as, a, as an offense, you just feel like there's lack of tempo, consistent tempo. Well, you know, when you have negative yardage plays, uh, they, they really – Take away an effectiveness of an offensive team. I think I've always believed that uh, penalties take the effectiveness away, and uh, which is a negative yards play, obviously. But uh, you know, uh, I think there's a throw he'd like to have back, probably. Uh, but I, I thought he did a good job out there. He was leading us, and we didn't, we didn't protect real well, at least from where I was standing. I'll, I'll look at the film, but uh, you know, those are things we're going to have to improve upon. But I thought he competed hard and, and gave us a chance. Yeah, but we, uh, we, can't, we didn't convert enough plays to, to be successful. Thank you.